Just for a moment, close your eyes and imagine the perfect elementary science curriculum. I know, I know, I am asking a lot, but humor me. Here are the things I wished for when my kids were younger. I wanted to teach my children all together, one book, one lesson, one block of time for all. I wanted a Christian worldview, and more importantly, as my children were transitioning from elementary to middle school, I wanted a program that considered other theories in light of the Bible, in a way that made sense. I wanted hands-on activities. I know not everyone agrees, but let's face it, children of all ages want more than just a workbook page to fill out. The final thing I really wanted was flexibility. Honestly, even if the program wasn't meant to be flexible, I would make changes to fit our schedule, lifestyle, or a child's learning needs. As the mom of a struggling learner and a bright overachiever, I needed flexibility, especially since I tried to make my life easier by teaching my kids all together. Maybe you want shorter lessons, something that's just three to six pages of reading, or colorful, well-done pictures and graphics. Or maybe you want affordable, quality, hardcover books that will last through the year or multiple years. What about easy to follow and clearly laid out lessons? Or a program that has something for every learning style? Did I miss anything that is important for you? Share it in a comment. What if I could introduce you to an elementary science curriculum that fits all of these factors? Science Through History is a science program for grades K through six that is written from a Christian worldview. It's a traditional approach in the sense that you, as the teacher, are leading the lessons from the textbook. Hands-on activities and experiments are built into every lesson, so parental involvement is required. These activities are specifically designed for home use and are easy to implement. The variety of reading, hands-on activities, and the integrated notebooking make the program multisensory. Authored by Dr. Jay Weil and published by Berean Builders, this program covers science through a chronological lens, beginning with science in the beginning, which examines things like light, energy, and plants in the order of the creation week. The next four volumes introduce scientific concepts by order of discovery and famous scientists through history, from ancient times to the industrial age or early 1900s. Each book includes 90 lessons divided into six sections that focus on a specific time frame. Within each section, there are 15 lessons, 12 which are considered the normal lessons to be completed by all children, and three are challenge lessons. These are recommended for all students, but offer flexibility for families that would like to only teach science twice per week. The challenge lessons are easily identified through the red lettering used on the lesson title and materials list. The books provide one year of science instruction at the pace of roughly three lessons per week. The lesson content is easily understood by all ages, and each lesson offers wrap-up activities divided into three levels, younger students, older students, and oldest students. Younger students focuses on the non-readers and are designed to be discussion questions. Older students are middle elementary students who can read and answer questions independently in their notebooks. The oldest student is an older elementary age learner who can write, draw, and analyze at a deeper level. It's important to realize that the levels are given as a guideline and parents will want to choose the level that is developmentally appropriate for their learner. Depending on the age of your children, lessons will take 25 to 45 minutes to complete, which includes the lesson reading, hands-on activity or experiment, and the lesson review questions. Worth mentioning, the author suggests that the course be used as young as kindergarten if the little one is joining older siblings. If the kindergarten age learner is the oldest, he suggests waiting until first grade to start science in the beginning. The required components for this series are the hardcover textbook, the softcover helps and hints book, and the supplies used in the activities. Numerous optional supports are available, included printed student notebooks, USB audio books for some courses, and the lab kits from Nature's Workshop. While the kits are optional and convenient, they are not required. That said, Science Through History is a hands-on lab bridge course that will require household items and basic lab supplies to complete each lesson. The necessary supplies are household or easily sourced items that you will need to collect ahead of time. So these kits make a great time saver for busy families. Dr. Weil recommends students keep a personal science notebook using blank line paper as it helps to develop their study skills and retention. However, for families that prefer printed student notebooks, these are available spiral bound for the older and oldest student. 
These notebooks include the review activities and space for the student to respond. The publisher also provides a free PDF review notebook that may be printed and placed in a three ring binder. These are available in the resources section of the Brilliant Builders website. Optionally, audio flash drives are available for some courses. The audio flash drives include readings of the text only. Let's take a few minutes to go through the components. The heart of the course is the student textbook. When you open the hardcover textbook, the first thing you notice is an overview to the specific course that provides helpful contextual information, a how to use this book overview of the lesson readings and activities, helpful to the website link where you can find answers to questions and a question and answer service with the author, Dr. Jay Weil. Helpful tips for doing the activities and experiments with children, supply lists organized by this section and the table of contents. There is also a list of materials that might require additional time to acquire. Lessons will take one day to complete and include a few pages of reading, integrated demonstrations and experiments, and the wrap up questions in the three levels. There is not a separate teacher guide. Any teaching information parents need to know is highlighted at the beginning of the lesson in the student textbook. The soft cover helps and hints contains experiment and activity notes, answers to all the questions and optional tests with answers for those who want the option to give children a traditional assessment. The tests are reproducible for family use. The textbook and helps and hints are sold separately or paired with the student textbook. Let's look at the science in the beginning book. Shortly, we will walk through part of unit three, so let's glance at the supply list for the third day of creation. Numerous items listed in both black and red font. As previously mentioned, the black font items are things that are necessary for the hands-on activities for all students. And the supplies listed with the red font are the materials used in the challenge lessons. In Unit 3, Lesson 34, The Water in the Sea, there is an introduction to the lesson and experiment at the top of the page. The blue shaded box contains a list of supplies and step-by-step -step directions to complete the experiment. Once the lab is completed, the text asks several experiment-related questions, which are followed by explanations related to the lab. As the lesson progresses, more information is provided about the topic. The text is written conversationally and meant to be discussed with your children or if an older child is working independently to provide a more interactive and engaging experience. Here is a brief excerpt. Why did the water in the two glasses behave so differently? Because since the salt water had salt dissolved in it, it was heavier than an equal volume of fresh water. That means the fresh water was lighter than an equal volume of salt water. Now remember what that means. If something is lighter than an equal volume of water, it floats. Using the same reasoning, when you added salt water on top of the fresh water, the salt water sank. But why didn't it form a layer on the bottom of the glass? And then it goes on to explain the difference between ocean water and the water found in most lakes, rivers, and streams. Back to our lesson example. There are two younger student or non-reader questions. Which type of water do you find in the ocean, fresh water or salt water? Which is heavier, a gallon of water from the ocean or a gallon of water from a freshwater lake? The next level, older students, direct students to make a drawing of the glass as it looked in step 11 of the experiment. Label which layer has fresh water and which layer has salt water. Underneath the drawing, explain why the layers formed the way they did. The final level, oldest students, directs students to do what the older students are doing. In addition, it redirects them back to a previous experiment and tells them to expand on the experiment through additional activities. With this activity, students will logically think through the steps and expected results based on the new information they learned through this activity. Depending on the course or lesson, the older student and oldest student reviews are written activities that include questions, labeling, or simple drawings. Oldest student reviews require more critical thinking and writing. These responses are kept in a notebook of your choosing. There are two benefits to leveled lesson reviews. First, children of different ages can learn together with questions and activities at a developmentally appropriate level. Second is flexibility. Parents can determine which review activity is best for their learners, which is a great option to meet the needs of struggling learners, advanced learners, or even the different learning styles of your children. 
Before we conclude our overview of Berean Builder's elementary science, I would like to discuss science in the atomic age. Chronologically, it is the conclusion of the Science Through History series since it covers scientific concepts discovered in the 20th and 21st century. While it chronologically concludes the elementary series, it is a standalone transition course for seventh or eighth grade students. While most students will use it in seventh grade, it's a perfectly acceptable course for an eighth grade student who has never studied science independently. As a transition course between the elementary and upper level sciences, it guides students in the amount of the reading to be done each day and provides a thorough explanation of the scientific method and documentation. Unlike the elementary courses, it does not include experiments or hands-on activities daily, although experiments are still essential. Following the recommended reading plan, most students will work an average of about 30 to 45 minutes every day of the week to cover the course in the school year. Offering a fresh approach to learning science, Dr. Weil's Science Through History offers homeschool families an affordable, hands-on way to learn science through a biblical lens. Best of all, it is flexible for different ages and abilities to learn together. While the textbooks were created to be taught in chronological order, there is flexibility for parents to choose the historical period that fits the interest of their children. If you choose to start in a course other than science in the beginning, the Helps and Hints book includes a list of concepts from the previous course, so you can do a quick overview using a science encyclopedia or online resource. Additionally, since the end of lesson questions and activities are not grade specific, parents have the flexibility to pick either the younger, older student or oldest student lesson reviews that will be the best option for their child. Parents will also appreciate the ease of use from the three-day schedule to the easy to find supplies for each hands-on activity. It is my hope that this video answered your questions about the Berean Builders Elementary Science Program. If you have further questions about this program or any other curriculum, please contact us at Rainbow Resource Center. Follow our YouTube channel for additional products or teaching support videos. Our mission is to help you succeed in the homeschool journey, and our videos can help you. Thanks for joining me today.